Hey guys, back with another video today. So, as you can see down in the bottom, uh, bottom left corner, got 133 mods on. So these are all pretty much quality of life mods. Some of the best mods here. So um, if I go to here, we've got ambient sounds, absolutely amazing. Just adds adding more sounds. I'll go through it later. Bad optimization, basically an optimization. Bobby can render far further. Cave dust, honestly, why not? I mean, it looks it's gonna make um, the caves look heaps better. Chunky, so we can pre-generate the world. Very important, I'd say, if you're gonna use distant horizons, which is down here, because distant horizons when it's it's just a little bit buggy, I find when uh, you set the render distance up really, really high and you haven't pre-generated the world yet or pre-generated like around where you are. Um, so I just recommend having chunky optimization mod again, C2, C2ME, do a barrel. I think this is quite, a, quite an important mod because honestly, it makes everything keeps more funny when you're flying with a light with an elytra. Um, Indium, which is another optimization mod, so heaps of optimization mods because we're running a lot of mods, so why not? Iris, I'm sure you guys know what this is, but it's just like shaders, place items, item placer. I haven't actually tried this one yet, so this will be the first time using it. Uh, world generation mod, so it makes um, villages like bigger, almost into like cities, almost. Um, then we got the mod menu, which is what I've got open here. Persistent footsteps, basically overhauling all of the sounds when you're walking on things, which I'll go through a little bit later. Sodium, more optimization, and some of these mods need it to run. Sounds. Like it says, it's just overhauling all the sounds, like um, when you're typing in the chat or uh, when you move around things in your inventory. Tectonic, honestly, one of the best world generation mods out there, not gonna lie. It's so good, it makes like huge mountains and things like that, it's just very interesting. Terrorless, another world generation mod, actually so good though, because it makes like and it and Terralith and Tectonic together. Perfect combination, honestly. It's like you get those nice big landscapes with still the interesting and detailed um, biomes and things like that. Uh, optimization, optimization, and just a few little um, quality of life things with uh, visuality. So, yeah, we'll uh, go on and then we'll create a new world. Okay, and we're in. So, as you can see in the top left hand corner, we've got 40 FPS. Uh, I'm running a uh, RTX 4090, 4060, so, um, you know, it's it's not a bad GPU. Not the best, not a 4090 or anything special like that. Uh, but it'll, it'll get the job done. CPU, uh, I've just got a, um, what is it? Ryzen five like fifty seven hundred or something like that. Fifty six hundred. Um so you know I'd say it's a good good uh get the job done CPU, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, so I'll just go game mode game mode uh, creative. Okay. Now, as you can see, like, look at this. Honestly, this is so cool, though. Well, could you just imagine, like, building a little base in here, and then you just have this cool view? Or, like, I don't know, it's just, it's so cool, so intricate and detailed. Yeah, so I'll just go slash locate. Peak. Teleport to there. 
So you can see over there the pre-rendered chunks over there. Oh, we're in a lush cave already. Wow, this is quite nice. Quite a nice lush cave as well. So you can see like a really nice place to build a base. I love lush caves, honestly. They're the best place to build bases. It just looks so good. So, oh yeah, so you can see we're on the side of a mountain. Mountain kind of thing. Okay, and now you can see that block over there where we spawned. Where uh, it's still rendered in because of distant horizons. So now what I'm going to do is um, slash chunky. And then we've got to do slash center. So that it's centered to where we are. And then we'll go slash... Uh, slash chunky radius and I'll set it to whatever we want so in my case because I've got my render distance at 328 um, chunks that's what that's what I'm pretty much what I'm gonna do 328 uh, this will take a while to render though so I'll probably speed that up for you guys Okay, cool. So now that's set to 328. So now we can go uh, chunky. Chunky. Chunky start. Okay, and then it'll start rendering the uh, overworld. So, wow, it's actually being very, that's very quick. It's rendering it extremely quickly. Okay, and then it has rendered that. Uh, well, um, generated the world at least. So if we go into video settings, the way we can uh, speed up how fast things load in. So chunk update, or chunk update, threads. That's one that will definitely speed it up how fast uh, chunks load in. And then over here, we can set the CPU load to uh, I paid for the whole CPU for sure. Wouldn't recommend because it's gonna your um, PC is gonna start making some interesting sounds, but uh, you can already see it's starting to render in some of those further away um, objects. So we'll just give it a little while to start rendering them in. Uh, let's fly up here. So as you can see, it's already starting to take shape pretty quickly, and this is already a massive increase in render distance. Um, definitely would not recommend uh, doing it, playing while you're rendering in. So I'd say render in everything first, and then uh, once it's all in, then I'd start playing after. Because otherwise, you're gonna have quite a laggy experience. Because especially if you don't have a great CPU like me, it's like only getting nine. Did you see that nine FPS for a second? Which is nothing pretty much when this you can get like 1600 FPS on base game, which is pretty insane. So we'll just wait for that to start rendering, finish rendering in. Already a massive increase from the original. And as you can see, I'm also running it with shaders. Um, there are a few glitches with like um, the uh, some of these shaders, uh, especially Bliss. Bliss has a few weird weird glitches but it actually looks amazing when it works so if I just apply that there we go look how nice that looks so you can see very clearly like what we've rendered and what we have on this one um, if you want to really get the best out of it look in the video description because um, pretty much there's this other guy on YouTube who has gone through all of it and then what mods you'll need to get Distant Horizons working and uh, yeah it's actually beautiful. So just go and have a look at him in the video description to get uh, to get basically looking at like this. So if you start having like the um, smearing effect on your screen, um, there's, there's a few ways that I found you could fix this, so just like going into uh, settings and then maybe turning down your render distance a little bit so instead of like 300 setting it to like 100 or 200 I'd recommend 200 228 is 
probably the best one. Um, and then also for some reason when it's on minimum sometimes it starts to smear. So if I just apply that, see like this smearing effect I'm getting? It's really not nice at all. So just like going into the settings and then setting it to like high or even extreme. So you just set it to, or sometimes medium even works. Okay, see, and then that's heaps better. And as you can see, it's rendering in all of the, um, all of the islands heaps quicker now as well. All of the chunks. So yeah, so that's looking pretty good. Um, so that's pretty much just that. Um, if I go and then I go and turn up my sound. So now you can start to hear like the ambient sound, like you can you can really hear like I don't know it's just really good at getting the feel of each biome, and then just walking on each things you can hear actually feel sounds so good. And then while I, when I'm moving around stuff and going into inventory, so like typing in chat. And like when you do enter, then you can really customize it to how you like it. Um, but yeah, and then just like, it's just better sounds overall. It's heaps better. 10 out of 10 definitely would recommend. So yeah, and now uh, for like do barrel, which are one of the best mods on here really truly do enjoy it. Um, I'll have all of these mods linked in the description below, so just grab an Elytra. Elytra and some fireworks. Get some duration 3. I got to survival and then try and put that on. So as you can see, like, you can do this. This is actually sick. Wouldn't you agree? So you can probably see like um, I've got my render distance on only two, only two chunks. Um, so I can set that up really, really high, especially with like um, Bobby. You can set how far you want it. So like I've got it set to really, really far away. For an example, like basically the world border, almost. So obviously we don't want it on that, and just two is fine. Um, because we have distant horizons which is rendering things. I would probably recommend playing with um, with it slightly higher than what I'm playing with because it, you can see see it updating in front of you. But overall it looks pretty good still. So yeah, and then it's just like who wouldn't want to do this? And just like, do a barrel roll, do a flip. It's just so much better. And we can see if I look back this way. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Obviously it's not rendered in properly. There are still a few little glitches here and there. Sometimes it can help to just reload your um, shader packs or re-render in the chunks. Do you see how it's like like not sticking at all? Like once it's in, it doesn't stay. Oh, lag. And then you can hear like, um, in each biome it's like a completely different sound. And uh, so, some of the best shaders for this I'd say are uh, Bliss Shaders and Rethinking Voxels. Uh, like complementary shaders and fast PBR. They don't really work with it because like, um, yeah, I'll show you. It doesn't, I don't know, there's something in the settings where it just doesn't render everything. See like this, it's like, it just doesn't work. I'm sure there's a setting you can change. It's, I just don't know what it is, but it, it'll only just show 
um, the things that are actually rendered in, in that like two chunks. And it's like just not good so you may as well just have it with only shaders. So yeah. I really like rethinking vlogs, which is because of the sh the um the shadows and things like that. It's like, what more could you want? Just look at that. It looks beautiful. So good. You can just see those shadows. A little bit glitchy here and there, but it's um quite good. And then if you like, you can hear when I switch in my inventory. Not sure if you can hear that, but little sound effects. And yeah, so that's pretty much all the mods that uh, I've got to show you guys. If you guys uh, like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.